Hello guys, welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. You should be familiar with the situation that the iPhone is stuck in Boo Loop, right? This could be caused by a failed iOS update, hardware issue, or other reasons I list below. No worries, solving this problem is very simple. Today we will show you some method to fix this issue. Let's get started. Method 1. Force restart your iPhone. Usually, your phone is stuck in Boo Loop, the normal restart cannot help you. So you need to force restart your phone. For iPhone 8 or later, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons successively. Then quickly hold the side buttons. Keep holding until the Apple logo appears. Most of the time this method works. If you fail, let's move on to the next one. Method 2, fix with Tenorshare Reboot. Besides hardware issues, sometimes software can also cause this situation. The best solution is to refresh your iPhone system. So I highly recommend that you use Tenorshare Reboot. It can fix more than 150 iOS system issues without data loss. I put the download link below if you are interested. Once finished downloading, connect your iPhone to the PC. Then click the Start button. There you can see two options. If you want to maintain your data, choose Standard Repair. Reboot will automatically match the latest firmware for your device. When it's done, click the Start Standard Repair. This process will take about 10 minutes. Please keep your iPhone connected. In addition, Reboot will update your iPhone to the latest iOS version. Okay, now let's check it out. My iPhone is back to normal. All my apps and data are still here. Give it a try. Method 3. Fix stuck in boot loop using iTunes. You can update your iOS through iTunes. This can solve boot loop issues too. Before we start, you need to put your iPhone in recovery mode. Connect your iPhone with a USB cable. For iPhone 8 or later, volume up, volume down, then press and hold the side button. Don't release your finger until you see the connected computer icon. Then open iTunes and it will pop a window. It says iPhone requires to be updated or restored. Click update to proceed. Usually, the download process takes a long time and iTunes can easily make mistakes in the process. In order to improve the success rate, I still suggest use method two. Okay, so that's all for today. I have shown you three practical ways to fix your iPhone Apple logo boot loop. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. I will be grateful if you subscribe. Stay tuned for our next videos.